rocket launch you say mm, who's rocket tune in next week <laughs> well we just started not tune in next week hey guys welcome to the aba direct live stream i'm shannon i am joseph <laughs> and today we got all kinds of cool stuff to talk about with you guys first want to say hi to everyone who uh, has already joined like uh chad john uh Hello, kevin everyone. hi hi and in approximately an hour bye approximately an hour well, depends said, depends how long we last i said approximately but uh, you know we've got we got that stamina after several weeks of doing this so i think we can probably hang out a bit mm. <laughs> the, the way you're staring at the camera is just awkward <laughs> what's wrong with you joe i know you just went on a trip and you're partially sick please don't get me sick but like what's I'll wrong just, with you i'll just make sure i don't talk in your general direction <laughs> at all as you point right at me awesome it's okay i got a few days off i get time to get sick and then get better i guess if you're lucky <laughs> so first things first um with some hardware stuff there has been uh, rumors of a nvidia potential partner email that uh puts the new gpu launch or reveal or announcement at least at august 30th supposedly well this is kind of weird because you kind of have to take this with a really big grain of salt because when you look at the email, the way it's worded, the way it's built out, it kind of doesn't represent anything you would normally see from NVIDIA. Like if, I mean, you, we've seen emails from them and it- Doesn't the, have that NVIDIA. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but if this is to be believed, uh, they're calling it the 11 series or 1180, and they say that it'll um, technically launch or announce on the 30th of August. And then the following month, a month later on 930, you will see uh, 1170 and 1180 plus. And then uh, on the October 30th, you'll see 1160. What's with the plus? I, Does that I, mean that they're gonna come out with a minus designation at some point? Well, yeah, that would be the so 1170 not be, probably. There's not gonna be 1160s, it's just gonna be 1170 minus. 1170 minus. <laughs> so there you go. We're just gonna have like two SKUs. We're gonna have like, uh, we're gonna have 1180 plus 1180, 1180 minus. And then is it going to stop there? Or are they going to start adding like captchas and exclamation points and question marks? Probably Just a not, smiley face. Probably not question marks. 1180 smiley face. That's bad marketing. People are going to... 1170? Maybe it is. Maybe is it isn't. It? Is it not? Are you just going to open it and it's actually a 6600 GT? 
from 2005? It could be like a loot box. You buy it, and then you figure out what GPU you got. You could end up with like a 730. Although I want to say that that would be an absolute mess. It probably wouldn't be much different than what we're already getting now. <laughs> so wait, you're saying that a 1030 is not a 1030 is what you're saying? No. <laughs> No, never. Why would there be such a huge difference between two of the same models, different part numbers? Makes no sense. But they're both 1030s, Joe. So what's the 1130? Is it going to be like five different models? Huh. If it ends up being 11, who knows? It could end up being like 25, 30, who knows? It could end up being anything. I was kind of hoping they would jump an entire generation and go straight to the two designation. But once again, they have disappointed. Hey, everyone's saying hi. Kevin says hi. Marine, Yellow. Marine says hi. Yellow. Hey, Kevin said, hey, kids, it's Barbituate Jill. Yellow. <laughs> I went down for a nap, missed the stream, and as soon as I got on, Joe's... Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay, John's asking... Actually, this is kind of funny. I'm, I'm going to... Before we go further into uh, tech topics, uh, John is asking, tell me about No Man's Sky. Why is everyone playing it again? What happened? I mean, the expansion pack actually looks pretty sweet. Yeah, um, the next. It may look like they actually redeemed themselves to a decent quality, but I still can't get the video of pre-release and the actual release along with the harmonica ruined Jurassic Park theme stuck in my head so I mean oh yeah the, e, the E3 trailer we're all saying <laughs> like it's it's gonna take a lot at least for me to for them to be able to live that down but I might give it a shot if it's on sale in Steam for $15 I think I got it for right around there Steam sale like uh, like Christmas time like last year Went right over my head if it was on sale. I just opted for all the things that, once again, I probably will never play, but needed to own. Well, that's kind of the whole point of a Steam sale, is you buy a bunch of stuff so you can pad your library and be like, I'm going to play this someday. Yeah, and I was really tempted to just remove my payment information, and any time the Steam sale happened, just throw my wallet across the room. But well, that, didn't, that, that didn't happen. At least if you throw your wallet across the room, you'd still have money at the end of the Steam sale. It'd make a pretty amusing flop sound, I'm sure. Well, it depends the kind of wallet you have. Mm, you yes. have like one of those metal billfolds that could be like a clank, actually. Yeah. By the way, Kevin's asking if you got hit with a uh, with a horse tranquilizer. No, I'm just <laughs> sick. That's what we get, folks. Joe is a. Uh, this, this is this is me on the limited dosage for Sudafed. <laughs> Poor Joe. He's good. I feel lethargic, but I feel great too. Ke Thanks for your concern. <laughs> wow. I hope it's genuine. Hey, Ernie. Ernie made it. Um, Kevin says, I started playing it again this morning. Lots of new stuff. So that's actually really cool. We, we discussed it, I think, last week or the week before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that you were playing, um, what was what was the game you were talking about? Oh, the goodness. Pl the plane game. Oh, War Thunder. War Thunder, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, that's good stuff. I haven't it had looks fun. It reminds me a lot of Red Baron back in the day. I don't know if anybody remembers Red Baron, but I used to play wow. that game a lot. That, that is yeah. like way throwback. That's like Sierra. Yeah, I think. That's, that's when like... PC gamers actually went out and bought like the flight stick, and, and also physical, also physical copies of games. Yeah, and had the suction cups to sit at your desk so it wouldn't just rip off and you know <laughs> like punch one of those in the face. One of those Logitech three D joysticks. Yeah, yeah, no, this wasn't even Logitech. It was like SciTech, I believe. Was oh wow! Was. Yeah, and it only had three buttons, and I used to use it a lot when I played Wing Commander. Oh jeez, why do you have to bring up like all this nostalgia? This is nuts. Because it brought me to where I am today, on horse tranquilizers apparently. <laughs> No Commodore 64, Kevin. No Commodore 64. Get out of here. He's trying. He's trying to bring us back when you say nostalgia. He's like Commodore 64. ColecoVision. No. Let's just let's just go back to uh, your friggin' controller was a wheel with numbers on it. Or in television. You know, you'd play the Smurfs and you'd step on a crack and die. <laughs> or let's uh, let's talk about like Zork, like a, a text-based game. You want some raw? Of course <laughs> you do. Jesus. I'm out. <laughs> So other tech news, uh, in, um, well, along with NVIDIA, obviously the partner email question, there is something that's actually confirmed, which is a uh, new NVIDIA GPU support added to, added to HW info or hardware info. Mm. They actually added in uh, GV102 and GV104 into their database. Mm -hmm. And this is actually confirmed. It's on their website. So the question is now becomes uh, everyone's making a big deal saying, you know, their future cards are Turing cards. But GV obviously Sounds like Volta. designates Volta because mm. <clears throat> think about it. GM, Maxwell, uh, GP is Pascal, GK is Kepler, and so on. So Yes. 
Oh, uh, Joe, you are, you are too much <laughs> sometimes. Even when I'm hocked up on Sudafed. Even when you're hocked I up just, on Sudafed, the voice is just killing I me sometimes. I just can't stop. Yeah, Ernie, we actually, Ernie asked, did you guys see that new Atari Mini? Yes. We absolutely did. And it was, we talked about it a few weeks back and yeah. it's, uh, it is exciting, but at the same time, it's one of those things where I feel like everyone's jumping on the bandwagon of taking a Raspberry Pi-esque device and just right. making a retro console. Yeah, and it intrigued me because it stated that it would play current-gen games, but then also Android. Yeah, because, well, the thing is, because it's actually Linux-based, so. I know, but what? You're gonna, you gotta go, you gotta pick a direction and stick with it, Atari. I think that's kind of been your problem. You're like, hey, new console. No, no new console. Hey, new console. No, wait, we lied. It's a rumor. Okay, new console. And it does other things that's not based around the original Atari. Which, I mean, I gotta give them credit for. Instead of having to hack it like the Super like the Super NES Classic or any of that stuff, or the yeah. new NES Classic you just got. Yeah. Uh, instead of hacking that thing and adding more stuff. Hi, laptop. Um, it's taking off. It, it's about to leave. Checking engines. <laughs> it's ramping up. So what model Boeing is that laptop? It is a 747-300. Gotcha. Okay. It's got, it's got the... As long as the flight is not held up because of a door handle. I feel like there's a story behind this. What? Please explain what happened. You know, the flight, uh, our flight was delayed because they had to fix a door handle. A door handle internally or like on the main aircraft opening? No, it was like the main craft opening. Like door handle's malfunctioning. It's we're waiting for the repairman. I am okay with that because I'm sure you'd want that door handle. Know, if it was like things, a bathroom door handle, I'd be like, things eh. to fail, like not an engine or like, um, like the the um. The gears that allow like the wheels to go up or down a friggin door handle of all things at least it failed while you're on the ground like, yeah yeah I mean, it's not like anyone would try to open the door while it's like mid-flight like i wonder if this works yeah but what, <laughs> what if it just like broke and the door came off then you'd get a real quick lesson in skydiving I mean, as long as there were parachutes but i doubt it just flap what it's got flap. this. Okay, you feel flap. air. You feel air, right? Just flap. That means you're affecting the air around you. So that's, it's technically, that's it should your slow solution you down. to flap. It's either that or just go face down in the dirt. I think I'd like rather go face down in the dirt with dignity rather than. <laughs> I just PUBG style it and just throw my arms back. <laughs> Freaking dab in the air. Just drill. <laughs> yeah. Maybe you'd find oil though. Yeah. Maybe Maybe. James Bond it and just hope for a body of water and just. Hitting at that speed, it'd probably be similar to hitting a wall. Yeah, though. I'd probably rip my head off, I'm sure. That would be good stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, Hardware Info has an update that says, uh, that says, <laughs> that says they added GB102-104. So, that, um, being that it's adding to software now, normally that's at the finalized point where, you know, spins are done and they're starting to, like, stamp together products, mm. for, at least from my experience uh, yes. previously. I would say this... Uh, Definitely could hint toward some uh, credence to the fact of that previous email that supposedly went out. That who knows within the next month we could potentially see a new, hopefully a new gaming card coming out. I mean that makes my soul happy, but it makes my wallet cry. Well, I'm I'm more worried about at this point uh, being the fact that prices have went high and people were still buying GPUs. Is this now going to be a sign of things to come and the prices are going to be insane? It absolutely is. It, ab what? What motivation do companies like NVIDIA and ATI have to drop prices if it's something as us as consumers have already become accustomed to because we were forced to adapt? They are absolutely going to capitalize on it. And they have they, they have nothing. They don't owe us anything. That's true. I mean, uh, we actually talked about this recently, remember, about like the fact that price of games back when we were like 10 years old, same price as it is now. Yeah. So things sometimes just simply, they have like a price lock on that. But when you think about GPUs, they have really been the same price since they kind of came out and yeah. same tiering. Uh, we just didn't have as high, like we didn't have the Titans that were $2,000. No, I remember the 8800 GTXs, they were like right around $430. Yeah, absolutely. And then it... You know, crawled up to the five hundred dollar price point, and then with the seven hundred series, like it's going to be six fifty, but it's TI, it's worth it. And then you I'm have hard cores, and then like the ten eighty, ten eighty Ti, those are six seven hundred bucks. So yeah, it has creeped up. I'm more worried about if we're going to start getting like flagship cards, non Titan flagship cards that are going to be like north of thousand dollars. I wouldn't be so surprised if they come out with like a new flagship card that's above Titan and it has a price point of around fifteen hundred plus. What would you name it if you could name that card? The Behemoth. <laughs> <laughs> or knowing NVIDIA, they try and do something like... The Devastator. The, the Boheme. <laughs> the Brohem. Wait, what? The Midnight Visitor. 
<laughs> hide your kids, hide your wife. Stay out of sight. <laughs> Who do your GPU? <laughs> okay, Ernie did have some follow-up questions. He said, uh, but why so much? Well, yeah, it is pretty expensive. We just, we discussed that. I'm not really even sure. It says, seems like a lot of huff and puff for Atari games. I don't disagree. I mean, it's Atari games, emulator box. Most people know how to build them at this point. And I mean, a Raspberry Pi is overpowered to run that, so. And then we have I love, Rurutu. Hold and, on, I love Kevin's reference. Can we put Joe in a Lamborghini right now? And I think you know that reference. Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to. I, you can't put. You'd have to put me in the Lamborghini because I would only be able to crawl into said Lamborghini, and then crawl out of after you run into an obscure fountain or something. Yep. Yeah. Into your true. house. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but apparently, though, there's a question from YouTube from Rurutu M um, asking, "What do you think's the price of what's causing people to buy these high-end GPUs, a monitor or games?" I think it's a combination of both. It depends on who you are. Um, because you have different kinds of users that will play games at whatever settings that allows them to play at a smooth frame rate. And then you get people that will just deal with the frame rate uh, in order to have the best looking graphics on a 1080p 2K 4K monitor. Yeah, they don't really care about the monitor. They just yeah. buy the best of the best because they want it. I mean, I, all I care about, honestly, is being as that I'm a little bit of a graphics snob. I have a 2K monitor as long as I can push 90% of the graphics settings. Like, I don't need to have anti-aliasing maxed. I don't need to have anastropic settings max. I don't even need to have all the shadows max. As long as I can get an enjoyable experience with, with 2K, um, I'm okay. I'll, I'll enjoy it either way. Oh, and the <laughs> game's so broken that I have to start modifying game files to make it run smooth, kind of like... Oh, I'm sorry. The Wolfenstein 2, I had to edit game files in order for G-Sync to work properly on it because it was locking my frames at 60 frames a second despite G-Sync being enabled. I'm, so that was fun. I was about to start that, so I might need that from you. I might need like a quick tutorial on that. I actually, it's ironic because I modified the game file and then they released a patch for it. Oh, well, there you go. Cool. So you should be fine. You just might have to like go full screen windowed, full screen windowed until it applies itself. It's funny because uh, Kevin posted uh, the NVIDIA Wallet Smasher 9800. Hmm. <laughs> Tufu is uh, leaked <laughs> price on 1180. Name it Galactus, devourer of bank accounts. <laughs> GTX 1180 is your And relationships. Child. Devourer of relationships, too. Did I saw somebody post on Facebook not long ago that, like, oh, I'm going to buy, you know, this jewelry to match the ring, but that's okay. This is just a bargaining chip for the next graphics cards. I'm like, hey, right, you are. That's oh, I saw, that. I saw that one. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes, that <laughs> is how it works, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's okay. Get what you want. You know, you have needs. You work hard. It's it's all right, honey. You deserve it. <laughs> Graphics card time. You can't say anything. Oh, you want that new frog tank, and you want to put plants and stuff in it? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Do they do sell thing. tanks just for frogs? You can make a tank into a frog. Not saying that happened recently, but it might have. Make a tank. In Basically, you take a fish tank. And you just don't put water in it, and you put like whatever foliage or whatnot. The, well, you said the, you can make a tank into a frog. Into the frog tank. Sorry, I forgot the last word. My mm. brain, my brain skipped past it. I was just gonna ask, what sorcery is this? Uh, well, I did you learn this at Hogwarts? I didn't get my letter. You, I mean, you force your way in. I saw. I well, we had an external fan, and I heard this like, Burp! and then next thing you know, a bunch of feathers blew in my house. I just assumed it was a pigeon. Maybe that was it. I don't know. Okay. I probably shouldn't say that. If or Ashley, an, if I mean, I, it's an owl, because now if Ashley's watching, she's like, yeah. oh, you she's going to... owl get hurt, and you didn't say anything. She's just not going to pick me up today, since I rode a Zach, so I don't even have a car. I wouldn't admit to anything. I would just say, owl, be out. <laughs> this, this Sorry, is, that wasn't punny. This is this is what you get, guys. This is, the, this is our show. <laughs> this, this, damn it. I guess I'm pun. <laughs> You are you are very punny, I must say. Now on to another rumor. This time not with Nvidia. It's with wow. In, it's with Intel. All right. <laughs> uh, so Coffee Lake refresh. You know, if there's been a lot of talk about that potential uh, i9 edition, eight core stuff like that that's been going around. Talked about the past few weeks. Uh, now they're saying it lacks hyperthreading. I mean, for the i7. I guess for gaming it's okay. But the thing is, i7. But for professionals. Ever since i7 existed, it's had hyperthreading. I know, but think about this retroactively. If they remove hyperthreading from desktop CPUs, would that not give them the ability to push sales toward their workstation class processors, which would have hyperthreading? Oh, uh, that makes sense. But the rumor says that the supposed i9 will have hyperthreading. 
Well, so maybe they're just removing the I, the i fives and the i sevens and even the select i threes from having hyper threading, and they're going to make that an i nine exclusive. That's that's what the assumption is. I mean, that's okay, especially if now the i i sevens have lower price points. Well, if that's they, the thing; they, no if, one knows yet. If they dip below, like three hundred to two fifty to even two hundred dollars, like then that's fine. Okay, you're getting what you pay for. If they're going to keep the price the same, I want to know what Intel's smoking because I'm going to stay away from it. <laughs> well, it's the same as like getting a graphic. Same as buying previous gen AMD graphics cards. You were getting the same thing at a higher price. Yeah, but people ride the red train all day and they don't care. Go Team Red, go! <laughs> Insert anime intro here. <laughs> no? Oh my god. Because see, the thing the thing that bugs me is that I it was kind of always scheduled like this. I7 always had hyper-threading. I5 was the same core count for the most part for the I and SKU as i7 without hyper-threading. Then i3 was like whatever it decided to be. It was always like maybe two cores it's, hyper-threaded or it's whatever. It's its own person or processor. Or thing. It can't be classified. Did you, <laughs> did you just assume it's die, bro? Are you, are you assuming it's hyper-threading? <laughs> are you assuming it's fabrication, bro? Are you assuming my lithography? Are you PC, bro? I'm offended. No, but it's going into a PC. I'm offended. Are you assuming my socket? Whoa. Wait. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Can you edit this? I feel like this is going to go bad really quick. Yep. On to the next topic. <laughs> okay. So basically, uh, one, one more thing I want to add on that is that um, I was kind of wondering, like, how do you see it, Joe, as far as affecting regular customers? Because you know that from our sales, I think you see a lot of i5s sold to gamers, right? Like i5 seems to be like the sweet spot for I5, a lot of gamers. I5s for, for, more, for most reasonable, I don't want to say reasonable gamers, but people that are trying to get more value out of their system, and then i7s for people that are just damn the costs and they want the best of the best, which is, to be fair, that's the kind of person I am. Uh, all it's really going to do is force them into a slightly higher price point of that, which may or may not. We'll see. Yeah, time will tell. Like, it's interesting It's interesting to hear these kind of leaks because uh, if they turn out to be true, this could be a very interesting shakeup as far as... Uh, how things, as far as how things come out from Intel. So we'll see how that goes. Now, as we'll far as- We'll see what happens when things come out from Intel. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> how about you take this one, Joe? <laughs> All right, so next topic, rumor. The next thing churning on the rumor mill, Intel's refresh- Of Coffee Lake. Will be soldered. That's what they're- Shh. Let's breathe that in for a second. Man, if that were true, that would certainly make my job a lot easier every time I decided to get an Intel processor because first, I have to deal it before I can do anything. Well, yeah, that's not necessarily false. Now, the thing is, if that's the case, that means if, if, if those do that, that's a good trend we're heading toward because all AMDs are soldered right now. And well, they have a different core issues that cause thermals, but yeah, when it comes down to it, if you cool with a liquid metal on a current gen chip, like a coffee lake, they cool way better with liquid metal or basically having the stock tim replaced. So if this is solder, this is gonna make a huge difference as far as the overall performance right out of the box, I think even it, overclocked. I think if it is true, and Intel is going to come out with a set of chips that will be soldered, I think in the spirit of this, they need to at least have a special edition called the T1000. So is it just gonna like melt randomly? Well, no. I mean, it could shape shift, but I mean, it's liquid metal. But what would it shape shift shape shift into? Liquid metal. But then it would turn. Would shape shift into a sandwich? A CPU? Why would you? Of all things, why would you shape shift into a sandwich if you were made of liquid metal? I'm hungry. Why not a knife? I don't or know. A bullet? Something? I don't know. Sure, and then eat yourself. <laughs> well, that makes sense. No, but, but I mean, for reals though. They should, if that's, if this is true, my next question is going to be, what will that do to the price tag? Well, that, that question, but see also, this has been rumored before because 8086K was rumored that it was going to come out with solder and mm -hmm. it was, it was Tim. So you kind of have to take this once again with a grain of salt because who what knows what's like actually, salt? well, you're going to have on a salt free diet. Well, you're going to have to be pretty salty for this one. Salty McSalterson. You had so many flavors you chose to be salty. Intel, you mix salty. <laughs> Intel makes you salty? What? I mean, sometimes, yeah. When you have to dehydrate your chip just to, on water just to keep it cool? <laughs> 
but it seems to be coming from a lot of sources. So we really hope it's true because with the current gen architecture and it being soldered, this could mean a massive, a massive performance potential without having to touch it. Like literally, you don't have to delay it. You just put it in the socket and go, and you right. could have really awesome performance. Right, right, right. We can go right back to the days when the rated TDP of a CPU core didn't matter. You mean you mean the fact that you need like for a 95 watt chip currently with a regular Tim you need like I don't know 150 watt TDP cooler just to make sure it stays under control? Exactly. And then the next question is how much did Intel have to pay all these CPU cooler companies manufacturers back by fixing their problem and thus dropping their sales? Fair point. I'm <laughs> that's that's some speculation right there. <laughs> That's pure speculation at this point. And this is me more or less teasing Intel because, well, you know, they haven't really excited me with their products in terms of CP release. I mean, really excited me in a long time. It's been more like, hey, that's a neat thing. You did a nice thing, Intel, good job. No, like I, I, I want to become Fry in the meme where I'm just throwing my money at Intel with, with their next line of CPUs. That's what I want. And it looks like uh, Rurutu says uh, uh, eight core, eight thread, uh, who wouldn't want to pay 450 for an eight core i7? Uh, it's just copying AMD FX series. Yeah, but three core. monitors, bro. Not again. I mean, I wouldn't pay 450 for an eight core at this point, especially after the you know the coffee lake processors. But I'd pay 350. Unless you had workloads that maybe would utilize an eight an eight thread processor, because right. unless you have the uh, NUMA capabilities to actually see every core and utilize it, if you're just gaming eight core versus six core, I really don't feel like there's enough games out there utilizing more cores no. that you would see a benefit. Right, if more games started to utilize eight cores, if they found some sort of like unified uh, development system that would allow any cores available to be utilized, then sure, the eight core makes sense. I mean, even now, I don't know why I own a 14 core. Why? <laughs> because reasons, same reason you own a Titan. I mean, because you can, and it's cool, and it has a lot of power. Yeah. And it uses a lot of power. Yes. <laughs> but the coil whines. Same reason I have yeah. one, because reasons. Why the coil whines. Stop it, wear headphones. I don't think we want to, uh, I don't think we want to explain why we do things, because that will just get us in other discussions, possibly with our significant others that could potentially be questioned. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that's okay. Ashley's got a frog tank, so when the next card comes out, I'm good. <laughs> Casey doesn't like frogs. Why? Because they're frogs. Frogs are badass, dude. I love frogs. Because they make noises and they go Bleep! and stuff like that. I'm sorry, what do they do? Bleep! Okay, please make a sound bite out of that. <laughs> Bleep! Please. Please, for the, for the love of all things <laughs> holy and sacred. What's wrong? It's like Hypnotoad. Whatever. Hypnotoad? Yes. Hypnotoad. Hypnotoad. <laughs> I ain't hit no toad. Kevin wants someone to go to the break room and bring me some salt. Awesome. Uh, Kevin. I mean, I can just bust through here like salt bay. Eh. Oh, no. Stop it. You're already sick. I don't I, need your sick salt, too. Except with salt, it's spiders. Oh. Get out of here. Um, Kevin. I get spiders made of salt. Kevin Lewis says, I'm still enjoying my 5930K. In yeah. reality, that's still a very viable platform. I mean. Yes, it is. It's still plenty. I mean. How many people do you, we know people that run like 3770Ks, like three I, series? I have, I have clients that create custom solutions for certain portions of the government that are based on X99 and 5930Ks exactly. So yeah, yeah, they're absolutely still very viable CPUs. Yeah, they're very viable for doing a lot of stuff. I mean, even though, yes, they're not the newest, fastest, but they'll still do the job. Yeah, unless you're complacent, then you're just like, ah, it's all 5930K, I want to new. Like us? Yes. <laughs> I love how you just dodge that. You're like, eh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, more MacBook fun. It's not burning up anymore and causing house fires. Yeah, MacBook i9 uh, i9 woes are kind of fixed by Apple because they uh, said that they uh, <laughs> basically they said there was a Mac OS bug, which basically was missing a digital key out of their firmware mm. that affects the thermal management. Yeah, and I can't help but feel like that if. Uh, Tim Cook wasn't at the reins, and it was the old CEO that actually got things done. This would have been fixed probably before it was released. Well, that's where you got to wonder. Apple is a very large company. They just don't feel like Apple anymore, though. They look uh, like Apple, but I just remember a time when Apple products used to come out, and they were so rock solid that the PC industry used to hate them because they were difficult to compete with. Now they just make it easy. Now it's not even a challenge. But now... now 
don't get me wrong, I'm not an Apple fan at all, but I think all of us can remember when Apple used to mean like it was obscene high quality. And, well, and now, yeah. look at, I mean, we, we know- That's Q obscene high price. We know QCQA, we know quality control, quality assurance. How would this ever make it out? Them knowing that they that their core audience does. I mean, Ernie, Ernie and Kevin are in here. They mm. they work with like apples and stuff like that. Um, Shame on you. Well, it's because they've been known as know, uh, like I'm, artist work and I'm video teasing. production. I'm just teasing. But th that's their core audience, and that means either someone either simply didn't test it, or figured it would go unnoticed, and that passed QCQA running slower than the previous gen system completely because it was overheating. That doesn't make sense. Like no one actually ran a render and said, hey, this is slower, wonder why. Steve Jobs is not only turning over in his grave, he's a friggin' acrobat right about now. Acrobat. Friggin' Kevin. We know, yes, I know how you feel about thermal management, Kev. How does he you, feel about thermal management? He, he's very salty with it. He did, it's, it's, it leaves a bad taste in his mouth. What is it? What is this taste exactly? It tastes is a it lot. Burning silicon. It tastes a lot like uh, Asian food. And failure. And and depression and sadness. Probably, I would assume. So black licorice. Oh, that is so gross. I don't know. The only person I know that likes black licorice is my mother-in-law. I can't stand it. Ugh. Who does like that? I don't know. People without souls. <laughs> oh, I can't wait till Anne sees you. Yeah. <laughs> People without souls. That's gonna be good stuff. Mm. By the way, she's here next week. Hi, Ann. <laughs> she's on a plane right now. Hello. So, once again, is Apple so disconnected from their customer base, or do you, I mean, do you, I don't even think this could even be considered falling within line of, like, a simple mistake. I mean, how, how long ago did this notebook release? Does anyone know the release date, top of their head? I don't know, but it was maybe, maybe a month or two. Yeah, see, that's, the old Apple I knew wouldn't have let this go for longer than a week. Well, no, no, they fixed it in a week as soon as the report came out. But I will say, probably after Steve Jobs passed, the uh, the happiness rate of the employees probably increased a little bit. So Wait, that's I mean, straight off. Like, hey, our employees don't want to throw themselves off cliffs anymore. Uh, but this our isn't products, Foxconn, it's Apple. I mean, but still. Like, if you've watched any number of the 15 Apple documentaries chronologizing, chronologizing Steve Jobs and what he failed to do and what he achieved... In, in his reign in Supreme in Apple, you would see that he was no stranger to making people feel like they were even worth the skin that their soul was encompassed in. So, I mean... Hey, Joe, we can't make this iPod any smaller. There's bubbles. Yeah. That's There's cool. room in there somewhere. I mean, he was, <laughs> he was brilliant in the sense that he really did not see, like, the merit to anybody's happiness. Like, he didn't care about making anybody happy but the people that purchased his products. So, he was a jerk. To all the employees and people that worked under him because it, I mean, it got the results. And a lot of partners, too. <laughs> he treated pretty much everyone like crap. Yeah. Which is why they ousted him the first time. I mean, to put it this way, if anybody thought Apple was going to be different after Steve Jobs passed, um, look at what happened when they fired him off of the board of directors and then they asked him back. Yeah. Like, they were like, we kind of need you. Well, they're like, hey, Pepsi guy, you can do things. And then they're like, wow, you really suck at this. <laughs> all you do is sell soda. We don't know why we thought you could do anything. It's sugar, sweet, and it's you're nice. So, Get out. You sell carbonated sugar water. Go. Same thing. Carbonated sugar water, PCs. That's right. You guys call that pop out here, not soda. It is pop. It's soda. This is an entirely different debate for another live stream. <laughs> this is actually. <laughs> so going from this, there's another funny part to this being the fact that Apple fixed the MacBook Pro. At the same time the fix came out, there was a uh, download link on Intel to be able to for a uh, Intel Power Gadget utility. And uh, that was in order to be able to, under Mac OS, monitor the performance, thermals, everything for your Intel processor. That is now missing, and the link to download is broken. So now you can't cool. effectively actually monitor what your CPU is doing, which makes me question, are they, did they do something to the way the processor operates to ensure you get the better performance? But now, who knows? Or, maybe or did they cripple it? But that's, Did that's, anybody run benchmarks? Yes. After they made this change. And what is the difference? Uh, it's actually uh, Dave Lee, the same guy who did the original video. Mm. He re-ran re it, and it is um, faster than when... Uh, it is just as fast and slightly faster than when he put it in the freezer. Okay. 
So it's it's good, but I feel like um, I feel like right now the biggest thing is we saw that that Gigabyte Aero X sport, uh, laptop. Remember it beat it. It was like five minutes render time versus like twenty seven. Huge, so, huge. It's gonna be the huge. difference is huge. So I feel like Apple needs to build a wall between Gigabyte and uh, and their products just so that they can uh, achieve their greatness that they've always had. Apple gonna make Gigabyte pay for that wall, but they I, won't. I feel like they will, but Gigabyte's gonna tell them to sit on it. So but they won't. So with that being sit on what? <laughs> on their notebook. Oh okay. I mean, it, it'd be quite comfy because it doesn't run as hot as what Apple's <laughs> MacBook Pro is running. Well, yeah, because the Apple the, the MacBook Pro is actually metal frame, so therefore you're gonna have like uh, just a gigantic heatsink of just fiery death is sitting there, under your bum. Is there a video anywhere of people like cooking food on top of this MacBook Pro and it was overheating? Because that'd be pretty swell. That thing is stupidly priced. I think the only people buying it are like a couple people. What what what? What site was it? There was a group of these guys, and what they would do is they would buy any like highly anticipated electronic on release day, and they would walk in front of people that had been waiting in line, like hundreds of people, oh. and scream what their website was, and then just slam the product down and, and just and destroy it with with baseball bats. They did that with the PS4. They did that with the Xbox One. They, they did, did it with it. the Xbox 360. They did the it Apple with iPhones. Everything. They've done it with Samsung. Yeah, I, everything. I cannot remember what website that is, but that is amazing because the just the look of disdain on people's faces as they see that happen. They're oh, like, yeah. <gasps> it's like sacrilege. It's not like it was their stuff though. Oh, but still, it's just you know people are such like insane fanboys for some of these things that they are just like, how dare you? It's the precious. Precious. You're actually sounding better. Maybe we just need live stream more often. You'll be not not be sick or anything. I guess, or maybe I'm just powering through it. And then you're gonna be like, Ugh, after it's all over. Yeah, like, as soon as like Brooke cuts the live stream, I'm just gonna keel over. And then I'll take a picture and post it on our Facebook. Perfect. Can't wait. <laughs> so the Arrow X results that kind of makes it to where if their core competency is now being destroyed by up to five to six times the performance, then that means we in the PC industry are doing our job. That means that we could sell a laptop right. that would blow away MacBook Pro. Um, it'll be. I feel like we need the techno chicken song right now. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, no! Yes. Why are we doing this? I don't know, you started it. So, realistically, you could sell a laptop, Joe, if yeah. you spec it right. You could spell like, like, let's say Ernie needed a laptop. Mm. You could give him a laptop that would outperform the newest MacBook Pro. I'm guessing for probably half the price. Uh, yeah, just about. Maybe a little bit over, but still close. It, to it really depends on what specs video. they want. But I'm saying a right. similarly spec device for much lower, and you wouldn't have to deal with the limitations of Mac OS or any of that crap. Right, and we could we could repaste it. We could put any side of that. We could paint it. Side of it. We could paint it. We have a really nice local painter that do. Apple great. Apple doesn't paint their notebooks. They do a great job. They don't care about your paint. No. Wow, you just you segued from two different voices within like five seconds. Mm. It's a hard so, rock life. There, there is one more MacBook thing because apparently we haven't beaten this dead horse to death, and this one's no, actually. No, its head's still moving. Keep beating it. And this one's 100% confirmed, and it's horrible. Is the newest MacBook Pro cannot recover data if the main board or what they call logic board fails. Oh, awesome! Because it's not like the storage is independent from the logic board, right? It's soldered to the mother motherboard for whatever reason they decide to do that. Good job, Apple. Unless that's their segue into oh, send it in and we'll recover it for a price. Uh, on YouTube, Carlos says, uh, "Give five years before we see 32 core on mainstream chipsets from both parties." Ah, uh, who knows? I mean, they could scale outward. We're running. Well, I mean, if you think about it, yeah. I mean, could be. I mean, granted, there was four core that was the mainstream, and now we're already looking at eight core starting to be kind of a mainstream. So. Yeah. Uh, if you, do I mean, if you double down, it would be 16 technically. I'll anticipate around 16 within five years. Yeah, I think I think if you I don't think you'll have a run for 32 that quickly because mainstream platforms still they still have to have a delineation there unless they eliminate the two different and just make one chipset. Yeah. Then it would make sense, but otherwise, if they have that mainstream and then they have the HEDT stuff, there's just no way because that means you would be talking 32 core. You'd have to have like a 128 core on the HEDT, and I don't see that on standard silicon anytime soon. Right. Unless you're doing like those Knights Landing where it's like a billion little atom cores, but those suck. Correct. Thanks again. <laughs> so that logic board failing means uh, previously MacBooks had a uh, small connector internal that if a logic board died and the SSD was still okay, 
you could plug the tool into it and extract the data. Right. And just basically you'd extract it, plug another MacBook, it would transfer over and you'd be done. Sure thing. But this one, they removed the connector in favor of a standalone chip for hardware encryption on your SSD. So now your data is even harder to get and you it's have no safer. connector to do it. It's yeah. safer. It's really but safe. But if it's lost, I can't help you. It's really safe on your dead motherboard. So how safe is it really, Apple? Hmm? It's so safe how even... How safe is it? It's so safe even they can't get to it. Mm. I mean, that's pretty safe. Wow. And it's really going to suck if you can't get to it. It's, but, just, it's just Apple trying to make money because they're losing a lot of it. it, it um, Tufu put, if I remember correctly, everything on MacBooks has been on board. Yeah, they've actually been soldered for a while. The thing is, Tufu, How previous, long ago was that, though, exactly? Oh, this is like, I think almost five years ago at this okay, point. Okay, yeah, because the last time I took apart a MacBook Pro was around 2010 or so, and it, it had SSDs and hard disks in it. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Hi. We just got a browser in front of us. Pretty kitty. <laughs> I just randomly got like a cat picture in front of us. This is awesome. Pretty little kitty. Kitten bomb. Uh, yeah, everything yeah. Ha is, is on board, Tufu, but the thing is, they used to have a connector. So if your motherboard died, you could plug it in, transfer it. Now the connector's omitted. It's gone. Oh, and the reason, connector. And so the reason we found that out is iFixit did a teardown of it. That's also when they found like the rubber, uh, the rubber stuff under the keyboard we talked about last week. But... I feel like removing that connector, unless somehow they have another way that hasn't been released yet, but thus far, when they've contacted Apple, they have, or they contacted like Apple uh, Genius Bars and whatnot, the people that would work on your MacBook and do this kind of repair, they said they have no way of extracting data anymore. Oh, well, good for them. So They're on the right path to failure. They're on the right path to making sure we sell more laptops that will uh, blow them away anyways. So I'm okay. Thank you, Apple. Thank you. Please send us your customers. Round of applause. Please send us your customers that you want to make angry. I'm totally cool with that. Yep, we'll make them happy. We'll satisfy them in ways you couldn't. I'm really starting to wonder what your sales strategy is. <laughs> well, you're not a customer, so you'll never know. I could call in. It's exclusive. I'll just put on an. I'll just put on a pretty voice. Uh, and I'll be able to hear the the baritone of your voice. I'll just avoid my birds. You won't know it's me. Birds. My birds in the background. You know, oh, got oh, wait, it. Okay. that's really not a bird noise. What was that? I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> uh, we'll leave that up for interpretation. Kevin Toft says, I'm using a MacBook right now. I'm sorry, Kev. Yeah. Do you need help? Do you need counseling? It's like it's like getting a really nice car that runs on like 10% of the roads. Uh. Why do we have a picture? What? what? What's happening? Why? <laughs> what is this? That is a huge, 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 huge cowboy hat. Why, why, what is that? Why am I wearing? Ghost hat. What's happening? Mm -hmm. Tilt it a little. And tilt it. <laughs> Howdy there, partner. I hear you're having thermal problems. You're in the wrong part of this town, pilgrim. I hear you're having problems with this your MacBook. This is a PC town. You need to take your butt over to the next town where we see what we do with them Mac users, I, okay? <laughs> uh, thank you, Brock. I, I needed that. Thank you. I should have put a cat on your head. I mean, I guess... I not. mean, I would have preferred a cat. Well, there you go. Next project, Brock. It's cats. It's a kitty cats. And they dance, 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 and they dance, dance, dance. She could have. She could have put like techno chicken like right here. Or you could have. I mean, you could have put the cat like right here in my chest, like I like held it like Mr. Bigglesworth, and then just stare at it weirdly. Come, Mr. Great. Bigglesworth. Great. Tufu snipped it. Awesome. He just sent it to you. Good. Awesome. This is great. Fantastic. That's now my Facebook picture. <laughs> oh, uh, so Carla says I can also. Uh, let's see. I could also see. Um, five years, both teams going sub seven nanometer on the respective Magic Sand goods. Uh, they're actually that's much sooner than five years, being the fact that AMD is already sampling seven nanometer parts per their own word a few weeks ago. Uh, a backup is a must if you're using a newer MacBook. Not a bad habit to have, but it, and that's pretty sad to say. Like you need a backup if you're using a MacBook. Yeah, because literally, like any of okay, I I will say this, and I'm not trying to like I'm not necessarily trying to like stroke our ego here. You're stroking our ego. Absolutely. But all of our notebooks have removable storage and replaceable yep. parts. Yep. And they support RAID. So, yeah, at the end of the day, you could have RAID 1 and then redundancy. Even if the drive dies, you're like, okay, screw you. I'm just going to put another one in. Don't opt for the Apple Band-Aid. Go for AVA RAID. <laughs> or just AVA repairability. <laughs> I mean, even that. Reparability. 
Rep 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 Reparability. Rep you just broke my brain because I literally tried to copy what you just said. I'm like, wait, that's wrong. It's kind of like when you die in old Mario games. <laughs> oh, wait, I was just thinking Pac Man. <laughs> <laughs> so, Samsung's, uh, Samsung's been designing their own GPU in house. Interesting. But Let's hope it doesn't catch fire. Well, it's hopefully it doesn't explode like their batteries. That's what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, that's, it's basically mobile-based right now. It's, uh, uh, they've been using the Xeno stuff, and they're designing their own one in-house. But John Petty took a look at some things, and, he's, and John Petty Research, and they said, like, hey, this realistically could be scaled because they actually exceeded their performance they expected. Yeah. It could actually realistically be scaled. Uh, <laughs> it could be... Uh, <laughs> I just broke. My, my brain just went like, no, we're going to stop talking. I, I was just trying to hold back from going into a coughing fit. <laughs> and at the same time, like all that's going on, we keep mentioning Samsung and graphics cards, and I keep just thinking of uh, the Grand Theft Auto V mod that somebody created where there weren't grenades. It was just Galaxy Notes. Oh, no. I did not see that. Yeah. That is Sam amazing. Samsung got so pissed they put a cease and desist on it like, almost in days. But somebody modified Grand Theft Auto V where the, the grenades didn't exist. The grenades were just Galaxy Notes. But Galaxy Notes back then technically were grenades. I mean, That's you could even you could even take them on an airplane. Mm. Actually, didn't we go to PAX when we heard that announcement? Like, you know, yeah, and if you have a Galaxy Note, we will not allow you to board this flight. And it's like, like you can who has mail a Galaxy it home. Note. I do. No one's gonna say anything. Come on. Multi-threading IEDs. Kevin yes. says. <laughs> yes. Yes. So Samsung's in-house design, they're saying that it could actually scale up to be something like a supercomputer, like a compute card. Okay, so, so they're focusing more on computation than they no, are. No, they're like saying what it could do, which means technically if that can be applied in that way, means the same way that core logic could be applied to a graphics processor for a desktop. Will they enter that market? Who knows? Intel said the same thing, and where are we at, Intel? How's your graphics card doing? Layer B. Layer B. Layer B died. Layer of B Layer B. But I do remember... Layer of B done with this. The, the same guy that actually... Uh, Francois, the guy that talked about... Hey, Francois, they're, ha, ha. they're getting rid of Extreme Edition. The same guy at a Gigabyte Overclocking event, like 2009. I remember him saying he was going off about... Yeah, remember... Uh, Invi it's pretty soon it's going to be... Remember NVIDIA? They used to make graphics cards. Remember uh, remember Creative? They used to make sound cards. We're going to make everything. No, you know what I remember? 3DFX. I remember 3DFX. Yep. Which later became NVIDIA. Yeah. They started it all. That's that's very true. Damn. That, why do you keep bringing up these like nostalgia things? Because instantly I start like visually picturing like the games I used to play with the 3D FX enabled, where all of a sudden it became all smooth. Over the rainbow. Oh no! Oh no! Brooke found something. Oh boy! Oh boy! This is about to happen. Mm. <laughs> why is this happening? Oh boy! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, it's pretty kitty. Yes. Yes. It looks like you're rubbing your mustache. Hello, Miss Sprinkles. Miss Sprinkles is... Mm. I think Miss Sprinkles is catatonic. I will keep you safe. No one will hurt you. The staring of the eyes is just creepy, oh. I gotta say. I can't tell if your eyes are open because you're in shock or I'm creeping you out. Kitty. Now the cat has hair. I'm pretty sure the cat had hair before. Uh, hello, hairy kitty with dupe. I don't hide behind my cat. I... Oh, oh. Catatonic. <laughs> I was catatonic. Oh my that god. That was catastic. That was quatastic. Yeah. I bet you can't do what I can't. What? Cat got your tongue? No. Hmm. Cat attack. Okay, back to Samsung. <laughs> So, they could potentially do things. <laughs> we'll find out soon. <laughs> now, there is a rumor. <laughs> another rumor slash leak for NVIDIA. 
<laughs> where it shows the 1170 beating the existing 1080 Ti. Beating it, huh? Uh, beating it by... That's, that's a really aggressive word, man. Can you say outperforming? <laughs> Exceeding their performance. There oh. you go. All right. So as you can see there, I mean, that thing's... Uh, that thing's... There's a boost! It's not like matched with it. It's actually beating it. Like, exceeding it. Sorry. <laughs> exceeding its performance level. I don't know why i got to do this. But there is a lot of things that come into question. Like, basically, when it comes down to it, this could be faked. And one of the things is we've tested cards really early. Mm. It always shows, like, generic VGA, maybe right. with manufacturer of NVIDIA. Yeah, yeah. But it normally doesn't identify. Yet, their, their pictures of the score show... NVIDIA GeForce. The actual die. But it shows EVGA and it says it says NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1170. Mr. Rob, are you implying that perhaps these photos could be doctored to a degree? Um, absolutely assuming that because also it's not a screenshot. It's a photo of a screen. So someone could easily Photoshop that. I don't know. Usually the, the screenshots that I will always, almost always believe are the ones that are like all in Japanese and Chinese. Oh, yeah. Like every single leak that has come out of like Asia has been 100% legit. Like Kulela and all them. They, yeah. They, every like time remember, they leak something, it's usually comes out to be true. I remember before Maxwell came out, there were all these leaked screenshots and they were all in Chinese and Japanese and oh, and it was, they, were, they were right. <laughs> what was that again? Oh, oh. We got to clip this for sure. If you're going to clip mine, we're clipping that for sure. Let me find oh, oh, oh. Hey, Tufu, tell us what he just said. Please. We're waiting. <laughs> well, hold on. He's probably got to type it. He's got to look at it. So <laughs> Ashley just apparently tuned in. And she goes, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it was with the cat park. So if there's anything else, I don't know what to say. <laughs> so one of the interesting things is that it does show a 2.5 gigahertz clock speed with 16 gigs of GDDR6. I mean, that that's impressive. If 1170 or whatever it decides, whatever XX70, we'll just call it that, whatever 70 series card, if it has 16 gigs of GDDR6, first of all, why? Second of why all- Why not? Well, no, it's great. It would be, that, that means it started- It's better than the rumored like six gigs that it was supposed to be. Like, oh, there's an 1180 that's coming out and it only has six gigs HBM. Yeah, that, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense. That would be dumb. Especially when like Titan V, they have like a 32 gig edition of it. Yeah. It seems like at the very least it'd be like 12. We love you too, Foo. I hate you guys. We There's love you too, buddy. Too much too much hate in this world. We love you. Uh, Carlos does say, would be very cool if both Intel and Samsung get into desktop GPUs. We need more comp... Oh, absolutely. We need more competition. Right. And it'd be even better. Well, I mean, it could be a good thing and it could be a bad thing. It'd be better if the competition was there. It would be worse if you have all four GPU manufacturers like gunning to do something similar to like NVIDIA's GameWorks and then it's like... Oh, I can play this game because I got a Samsung GPU. Yeah, well, my Intel GPU, or Intel GPU sucks with it. Well, NVIDIA sucks for everything now, so I'm just going to use mine as a paperweight. Great. So we'd have to have like four different systems to play different games. That's what I'm saying. Like, that it could, would suck. It could get really bad. I'd be hoping at that point in time there'd be some sort of like, you know, trade commission that would step in and be like, all right, we're, we're done with this, guys. Like, this isn't fair. Like, we'd this have is ridiculous, you know? We'd have to have unified optimization at that point. It would have to be like something where everyone agrees. Unified would... optimization. <laughs> yes, unified optimization. Called the UO initiative. I don't even know where to go from here. Right? Asian accent on point. Thank you, Soul Fallen. All right, I, I reckon you'd be a nice modern gentleman. The Soul Fallen, you are the real VIP. Mm. Just saying. Yes. Or MVP, or whatever. I give up. I'm, I'm done. I can't. So, uh, if we could get on 1170, theoretically, with the speed it shows, because you know the difference between 1080 Ti and Titan XP is yes. pretty low. Yes. All things. Did you just, like, suddenly get, like, a sudden boost of, like, caffeine? I, I had to reboot. <laughs> um, basically, that means you could have Titan XP-like performance for, if the 70 series cards carries the same kind of price point, it'd be, like, 500 bucks. Not bad. Two is a good point. If Samsung comes out with a new GPU, will they have binned memory? Will they use binned memory? That would be... Yeah, they keep all the memory for themselves. Maybe that's why there's been the shortage. They're working on just pushing this out. It's all these graphics cards come out, and it's all the premium Samsung memory, and it's clocked at like super high speeds, like 4,000, and you're just like, oh, I 
God, what do I do with it? Anything. Let's face it. We've been in Sin long enough to know it probably won't happen, but wouldn't it be great to see someone like Samsung just come in and just knock everyone out? Samsung could do it, and here's why. Because they have enough products that they can actually have as money makers that they could afford to lose money with every sale of their graphics cards just to take market share away from AMD and NVIDIA combined. And they're a semiconductor company. Or the, this could just not happen at all, and before anything happens, here comes Nintendo with a graphics card. Please, no. I mean, I'd buy it. Who Except would not buy a Nintendo branded graphics? I would card? buy it because of the name. Exactly. But other than that, I don't want my games to look like Wii. I mean, it wouldn't look like Wii. You just like you'd boot it, <laughs> you'd boot it up, and rather than there being a light that comes on, it's just an audible chime, like let's go. Or just random, all right. Or randomly, a little Mario just pops out of like a little uh, one of those little pipes. <laughs> your blue, your PC blue screens. <laughs> yes, that would actually be awesome. Yeah. Conversations from the Future by Joseph Mundy. Joseph Mundy. Joseph, Joseph Mundy. <laughs> so, um, who knows? If, the, if it ends up being the 1170, if it ends up being what we saw there, and it keeps a similar price point, even, even if it ends up being $600, or even seven, I even push it to 700 yeah. which I'd hate to say, still, a Titan XP-like performance, that means you're still like half the cost of a Titan XP. I mean, I'm already getting ready to like... I'm been priming myself to be comfortable with spending a thousand dollars on a new graphics card i'm not happy about it i mean but if you think about like what i typically do um i, I give casey the hand-me-downs because frankly she could care less so i'll get a new card i'll give her what i was using and then i'll sell casey's card like on ebay for like a reasonable price and so that way it doesn't sting that much it's like that's the ice pack to my bee sting i love chad's reference chad said would said card be made of cardboard Probably. Now think about the Nintendo, those oh, accessories. I know. I know. Make your own GPU 2.0. <laughs> oh, it's a Titan one. So you could make it. Pull okay. up your Switch and take a picture of it. It's like, actually, it's a GTX 1180 that actually has the same performance of a GTX 1150. And it happens to be based off a of GT 1030. The card turns purple. And then a red shell pops out and hits you in the face. Yeah, that's when I pull the card out and just set it on fire on my carpet. And just hope the carpet cardboard, fire spreads so and consumes me in the process. Because then your whole Nintendo investment would be gone. Yes. And that would make you sad. Right. Wow, thanks. Uh, you turned that really dark there, Chad. Just saying. That whole Why are you blaming Chad? Like, because he... <laughs> now, I was the one that came up with all the ideas. He was just like, graphics card cardboard. And you're like, this is all your fault. It's not like he gave us the cardboard. Like, here's your cardboard card. That's true. Your mind kind of turned to a dark space really quick. It went real dark. I think it's because half of what Chad said could actually be true, and this is just me defying it. Oh. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. That would be horrible. Now, for some gaming news. Uh, yes, this my is, favorite. This is very interesting. Uh, Valve is basically revealing what is in the loot box before you buy it for Dutch players of Dota 2. Because Netherlands are, uh, like... Did they complain enough? Like, well, oh, no. we don't want to see what's in the loot boxes. Netherlands government basically set a uh, set a new rule where, like, against gambling in games. So, like, loot boxes like that, you can't. Uh, they're illegal now. Can we do that everywhere so then EA screwed? Oh, man. EA would go out of business in, like, five minutes. Right. Like, for sure. Uh, the, don't get my hopes up, dude. The microtransactions are still out there. So, like, Dota, they, like, they took them completely out of CSGO. Right. Like, they're gone for, for, for people within this region. Yeah, yeah. For us, they're like, yeah, keep paying for stuff. You don't know what it is. Yeah. And then you have, uh, like, in the Dutch, they can see what's in it. So you basically look at it, Joe, and you're like, I don't like that, so I'm not going to buy it. We buy it and go, wow, we got screwed. It doesn't have anything we want. Mm. Um, so with that being said, I feel like that's really... I feel like that's really cool, and I wish that more places offered that because I don't mind a microtransaction if you know what you're getting. But when you're buying it, perfect example, buying keys in PUBG. No, dude, see, that that's a, was going to be my example. I bought enough keys in PUBG to where I practically purchased the game a second time, and for what? How for many pink how many, socks? How many, like, brown school shoes did you get? For pink socks, plaid <laughs> shirts, for sleeveless T-shirts with the sweater with the turtleneck. What's up, Jimmy? Yellow. 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 So... And actually, Jimmy will love this next topic. Fallout 76 beta in early October for some people. For some people. Okay, so I signed up for it, and they're like, that was not a guarantee. But thanks for your $200, though. Well, the problem is they didn't make this super clear, apparently, because I didn't see it anywhere, and I know you probably didn't either. Uh, Xbox will lead the charge right out of the gate for the beta. We kind of knew that. But 
if you bought it from PS Store, Xbox Store, or Bethesda.net, you're like guaranteed to get into the quick access for the beta. What, which, what, which stores? Uh, PlayStation Store, Xbox Store, and Bethesda.net. Cool. So my Best Buy purchase means nothing to them. Or my Amazon purchase. Oh, my Amazon purchase. That's right. Yeah. So basically, with those, you have to wait, as they say, and they directly say it in their uh, in their post on their forums. They say, uh, "We'll be selecting handfuls of players at a time to scale it up." I got your scale right here, Bethesda. <laughs> you want to see my scale? <laughs> And J- J- you should see what the number reads. J- James, uh, Jimmy just said, uh, October is BS, should be sooner. I absolutely agree. I oh, think yeah. We- you know it's ready. They're just like dangling it. They, Did you see these Fallout 76s? And it's, all creepy-like. And we all are waiting to get our helmets so that we can wear them and do funny stuff and pictures. We're going to do an entire live stream on our helmets. I'm totally down for that, especially with the voice changer. Yeah. Is there a voice changer in it? Yes. What? There is a voice changer built into the helmet. Dude, this is going to be amazing. Dude. It's going to be like, yeah, this is... Welcome to the Ego Deck live stream. This is Shannon. I'm so excited right now. So am I. Oh, my God. Hey, bro, can you hear us? I feel like we're setting the microphone off. <laughs> so, we're going to have a voice changer and helmet and all that good stuff. But we're going to have to wait forever to get it until, like, November. I can be patient. There's plenty of other things I can occupy my time with, like uh, PUBG and... Uh, <clears throat> PUBG. And then, oh, oh, there's, oh, there's PUBG. And PUBG, yeah. There's PUBG, too. And then on the weekends, But don't forget PUBG. PUBG, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, on my phone, I play PUBG, so. That's true. Yeah. And there's also PUBG. Yeah. And if all else fails, there's PUBG. Hmm. Uh, dangling helmets. Go- Kevin, no. No, I'm not going down that dark hole with you. No. With your dangling helmets? <laughs> Why? Why? Just- Why? Why? Hmm. So, that being said, any of you who didn't buy it from the three listed retailers, PS Store, Xbox Store, or Bethesda.net, you will get, I'm sure, they say you will get access, but it's just a matter of when. Yeah. So, while other people may be enjoying it in October and possibly streaming it and showing it off, and you're going to be all Sad Panda watching them play it, and you can't. The OG Sad Panda. Literally, it's just going to be like total QQ mode. QQ. QQ. No, I don't want to do a torso twist. Watch, leave me alone. No, do a torso twist, please. Don't let us stop you. You gotta stand up. Nope. Gotta nope. Stand up. Nope. Nope. Not happening. Not even. You see, this guy's Shannon Rob doesn't promote good health. I am not the. Uh, I am not the shining example of good health. Just saying. It's and crazy. Joe's sick too. There's so. always a place to start. <laughs> I'm just going to say it. I've said it so many live streams. This is my life, folks. I, yeah. It's it may, it's usually just me standing in the, on the corner of whatever room Shannon's in, in his house just uttering things that either lower his self-esteem or make him question life. And a little bit of both right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, we do have some new uh, cool stuff for you guys. We have the back-to-school sale just launched. Hooray! Yay! Yay! School. Even if you're not going back to school, though, you can still save money. Up Pre- to th- pretend that you're going back to school, and you'll still get you know the savings. If they put on one of those hats and buy a computer from you, will you do like that? <laughs> will you do that on the phone with them if they order yes. from you? Like, you bought a new <laughs> PC. That's what we need. Throw in free overclocking. So basically what you're saying is we're just going to have a recording so when they start their PC and Windows starts, it's just going to do that. Yes. So we need to clip that so that we can add it to, to or, people's PCs. Or it could be like the Peter Griffin. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so you could save up to like $350 on select AVA Direct systems on the back-to-school sale. Yes. There is also something cool we've been doing. Uh... <laughs> so you guys will be seeing that clip of Joe really soon. Can't wait. <laughs> um, the uh, We've been working with uh, our friends at EVGA to build a badass EVGA anniversary edition system. 19th anniversary. 19th anniversary. And this is... Bravissimo. This is... We are building a full anniversary edition system, including an Intel anniversary or limited edition 8086K processor. I along figured, with, you know... Special edition EVGA system, special edition processor. Anniversary, anniversary, man. Where there'll be a special edition graphics card? There is going to be, well, no, it's a 1080 Ti FTW3. Oh, okay. 
So it's still a badass card, and it's going to stay really cool. And oh, yeah. We, oh, by the way, the one that we built for the uh, giveaway is vertically mounted, so it looks really awesome. Yes. And for those of you, if you do not win it, you can actually buy a basically a mirror image of that same system. We will be building them while supplies last because those limited edition processors, we only have a certain amount of them. And if you contact me, I'll give you a good deal even if you didn't win it. Well, that's the whole point. If you didn't win it, we will still get you the same awesome looking system and Joe can help get you a good deal on making it happen. Yes. Hey, look at that. We're almost basically, we have one more thing to talk about. We're actually almost on time this time because we didn't have a massive technical <coughs> difficulty trying to get a hold of people on Skype. What do we have here? We have Final Fantasy 15. Again, and more. But it ends really soon because it ends basically almost What is soon? 31st. Oh, you better hurry up. So that's like Tuesday. Guys and gals, because the 31st is when? Tuesday. What day is the 31st? I told it you it's Tuesday. On, it is on a Tuesday. <laughs> so, so come Wednesday morning, you can't get yourself Final Fantasy 15 copy. And no matter well, how I can't help you. no matter how much you call and yell at Joe, you can't do it. Nope. But I might I might like softly sing to you though if you're young at me, because you need to Car yeah, Carlos calm your, calm your cheek. Carlos, don't listen to him, Shannon. You do you, bro. We'll support you. <laughs> Mentally, financially, I'm not sure. I mean Shannon That's fine. Shannon Ask me how much I miss the anniversary graphics push. Well, Kev used to have to do the graphics for uh, the anniversary when we worked at EVJ together. Uh, it was it was very interesting. It was uh, extremely high paced, high stress. And do they do an anniversary every year? Anniversary normally is yearly. Yeah. Well, I know, but but, <laughs> but what's the significance? Like usually companies start do it at milestones, like five, ten. 15, 20, 25, they, 30, but 35, they do it, 40. They do it more because it's a community-based thing. So they do like scavenger hunts. Uh, they do. They use it for like a community, basically a way to outreach to their community. But then don't you think that every time they announce it's the anniversary that it kind of loses its luster? Like, yay, yay, we know it's bound to be your anniversary this year. Here it is again. And it is actually, you'll, I'm not sure, have you looked at the EVG anniversary yet? Yes. It's basically like 80s themed, which... I mean, which is great. Which is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm all for the 80s. I was born in the 80s. I'm a child of the 80s. Go 80s. What, what year were you born again? 87. I thought you were the same year as me. Crap. Okay, never mind. Forget it. Uh, <laughs> so, you've got a couple days to get Final Fantasy 15 with a 8th uh, Gen i7 or a uh, or an X299 based system. And it runs fantastically on the PC. Let me tell you. Have you played it? Yes. I have not had the chance to play it. It looks awesome. I got an hour into it, and I'm like, oh, this is going to consume my life. I'm going to shelf that until I'm ready. Oh, you mean consume your life like PUBG? Yes. So basically, it's like trading. I actually haven't played PUBG in a while. Why? That makes me sad. Well, I have my trip. Yeah. And See you next I came fall? back from my trip. And now I'm not on my trip anymore. And now you're sick. I mean, I can still play. Can you play sick? Say. Yeah. So are you playing this weekend? Maybe. Okay. Chad, Chad, you heard that. <laughs> I just have to be told that I'm wanted. Hey, Kevin did say, he's clarifying. He said, they give away free stuff, Joe, so people look forward to it every, uh, each year. Uh -huh. <laughs> Is it because they give away free stuff because that's what it takes, or are they just doing it to be nice? Well, that's, who knows? I mean, that's, that really comes down to the, that really comes down to the motive. That's right. Kev put, I, however. <laughs> okay. Well, so basically, guys, that's about it. Please uh, reach out to us. Uh, we are here every week, every Friday at 2.30 Eastern. And if you have questions, comments, concerns, post it in our Facebook. Message if us you're like watching this on YouTube, hit that like button. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And if you uh, do have uh, discussion ideas you'd like to hear about, like, uh, like to hear us talk about, like to get our opinion on, reach out to us on our Facebook or other social media channels and we'll be happy to uh, add it to our uh, wonderful live stream notes you see here. We'll add it to that. So it only takes can... a few minutes. Yeah. If you if you have something you really want to see, uh, this is definitely uh, definitely a way you can get your content out there. And we will uh, credit you with the idea if it's something we, we uh, choose to talk about on the show. Oh, yeah. We'll say your name. Maybe I'll sing it. Maybe I'll draw it on a whiteboard in the background. I'm going to hold them to that. If one of you guys give a suggestion to talk about, not during the live stream, but before, I guess it would only be before. I almost said or after. I will sing your name to the tune of any song you choose, as long as it's in English. That almost left a big loophole. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you caught that, because that would have been very interesting. Yep. Been like some Darvish music. <laughs> My, no, Mongolian throat singing. 
Oh, 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 thanks for the comment, Kevin. Oh, now, now clicks. <laughs> Kevin. Hey guys, thank you for joining us. Be sure to join us uh, next week here at uh, 2.30 p.m. Eastern, and we will be here on Friday to uh, share some of the newest tech news and all kinds of cool stuff with you. That's all, folks. Thanks for joining us. See you Bye. next week. Thank you.